Many people think of testing as a separate step in the software development process, something that you do after you write the code. You code and then you test. But with an agile software development approach, we're after a steady stream of defect-free software. And if you're serious about that, then thinking of testing as a phase or a separate activity doesn't work very well. You need a whole different way of thinking about building and testing software to achieve that. And to explain this different mindset, I came up with an analogy years ago that I think is uh, helpful. And that's an analogy with making a hand-dipped candle. You may have seen this or even participated in it. You take a wick and you take a large container of hot wax and you repeatedly dip the wick into the wax and at each step uh, along the way a little bit more of the wax adheres to that wick until uh, after a large number of dips you've got a sizable taper candle. The reason I think this is a good analogy for agile software development is because at each step along the way you've got a working candle. Even after that very first dip you've got an embryonic candle, a, a, a working version of the final product. Now, it might not burn very long, but it actually is functional. And each additional dip after that only serves to increase the size and the capabilities of the candle. That's exactly the same way that Agile software development works. We start by building an embryonic version, but working version of the system that we want, and then we gradually layer on functionality a little bit at a time. That works great as long as your approach to quality is sound. Imagine trying to make a flawless candle with this hand-dipped method. You would want to make sure to check the candle after each dip. Check its roundness, check to make sure that it's still perfectly straight, pull out your optical densitometer and check the cons overall consistency of the candle. And that would be the best way to ensure a flawless candle at the end, to ensure a flawless candle at each step along the way. It's exactly the same for software development. The best way to ensure a defect-free big system is to ensure that at each step along the way, you're remaining defect-free. And that's a different approach to testing and quality assurance, and that's the approach that I call continuous testing. What that approach means is that testing is not a separate phase or a separate activity or done by a separate group of people. Rather, it's an integral part of the team's day-to-day -day work. For example, you've got developers every few minutes doing developer testing with automated developer tests, ideally. You've got testers daily looking at the stories that are in progress, the ones that are just finishing, not waiting till the stories are done, but te continually testing the system from the user's point of view. You've got exploratory testing happening every day where we're checking for strange interactions of things that we just built and how they interact with other things. And then at least once per iteration, you've got some sort of user acceptance testing where you're looking at fitness for purpose. What did, did what you build actually accomplish the objectives? And if you've got that kind of activity happening literally every hour, every day of your project, you can see why testing is not a phase. Testing is just part of something we do all the time. And that's how you ensure quality with an incremental agile approach to software. It might be tempting to think, well, we'll just do a whole bunch of work and then we'll test it and fix all the problems uh, together in a batch. It's a very tempting philosophy, but you can see why it wouldn't work very well with candles and it doesn't work very well with software.